welcome back to my Klingkwen Tuhan with Doc Athena. Today we are going to talk about UC or urinary calculi. Okay? May mga nagsisend po ng message na, Doc, nahihirapan po umihi ang aking alaga. Doc, yung ihi ng aking kambing may kasama pong dugo. Ano po kaya ito? No? Yung iba naman, yung aking mga alaga ay... Uh, papayat na papayat at uh, dribbling urine or yung parang parang tumutulong ihe ng hindi tuloy-tuloy which is of course abnormal. One of the possible causes of these problems that are presented to us is UC or urinary calculi. So what is UC? These are actually kidney stones or mineral deposits. Nangyayari po ito hindi lamang sa mga kambing, tupa at ibang hayop kundi sa tao din. No? May mga cases din ng ganito sa tao. Pero, uh, usually, mas naging problema siya sa mga lalaki. Okay? Kasi yung urethra o yung daanan po ng ihe ay mas maliit sa mga lalaki as compared sa mga babae. Okay? Tao man o hayop. So, nung college ako, we did a surgery hindi po sa livestock kundi sa pets, dogs, and cats. Okay? Bakit? May relasyon yan sa mga goats. Okay. Ang UC po ay usually nangyayari kapag nagkakaroon ng calcium phosphorus ratio imbalance sa ating mga alaga. At saan nagagaling to? Well, make sure that you're feeding your goats with goat feeds and make sure that you trust the brand that is well formulated for your ruminants. At Maliban doon, make sure na hindi po kayo nag adulterate Kasi baka mamaya, high quality nga yung feeds ninyo, pero binabago nyo yung formula by adding different ingredients. Meron kasi ako mga nakikita na ina-adulterate. Pag sinabi natin adulteration, dinadagdagan para parang extender. Yan. Karaniwan maes. And I think aware naman po tayo, hindi lang sa goat feeds, kundi sa iba't ibang Livestock feeds ay corn. Ang corn po ay isa sa mga macro ingredients ng mga livestock feeds. Okay? So, kapag inadulterate nyo pa ito ng grains, there is a high chance na magkaroon po ng UC or urinary calculi ang ating mga alagang kambing, tupa o baka. Okay? Bakit? Eh kasi nga po binago nyo yung formula. Nagkakaroon na ng imbalance sa calcium and phosphorus. Yung mga nutritionist po natin ay kalkulado po nila yung mga minerals na to because they have to balance it okay, sa kanilang formulation. Now, if you adulterate that, you are changing the formula. Okay? And ito pa, make sure na hindi po kayo nagpapakain ng ibang feeds that are intended for other species. Okay? If you have goats, feed them with goat feeds. Don't give feeds that are meant for pigs, chickens, okay? Kasi iba po, magkaiba po sila ng requirements. Magkaibang species, magkaibang requirements, okay? Kaya nagkakaroon ng problema. And one of the problems, common problems po, kapag kayo ay nagpapakain rin ng dog food sa inyong mga alagang aso. There are some no, na may mga dogs sa kanilang farms, backyard man yan, o large farm, no, at baka, baka nakaalpas yung inyong alagang hayop or alagang goat, no, at nakakalat lang doon yung inyong dog food. Aba, alam niyo po, ang mga goats, kapag may nakitang pagkain yan, e titirahin yan, no, kahit hindi para sa kanila. Hindi naman nila alam, di ba, na hindi pala para sa kanila yon. So, nakita ang dog food. Aba, kinain. That could be one of the reasons na pwedeng magkaroon ng napakalaking problema sa UC or urinary calculi. Why? Because the weird calcium phosphorus ratio. This is very harmful sa ating goats. Okay? So, siguraduhin po natin na walang pakalat-kalat do or any other feeds that are intended for other species. Okay? That's one of the things that we could do. Eh, may problema na. Anong gagawin natin? Make sure also that you provide plenty clean water to your animals. Okay? Kasi yun yung magdadailute eh, ng mga stones. Siguraduhin natin na hindi sila nawawalan ng tubig para hindi magkaroon ng ganitong 
problema. Alright? So, water is the major nutrient na dapat nasa farm natin. Okay? Hindi, hindi dapat nawawala ng tubig. Otherwise, maglalabasan lahat ng sakit dyan kapag na-dehydrate ang ating animal. Okay? So, tubig, tubig, tubig. Ano po, Doc, meron na? Ano nang pro, andyan na yung problema? Anong gagawin? So, as I mentioned kanina, we have encountered a lot of cases in uh, dogs and cats. And we usually do surgery. And that is also main remedy that we could do to remove the stones. But in livestock, this is a salvage surgery for pets. It won't last. So, yes, maaaring na solusyonan. It might be good for several weeks and months, but eventually, babalik din siya. Okay, so, we can do that. We, uh, some vets could do the surgery, the removal of UC or urinary calculi, but the practical side, no, pag nakitaan nyo na po ng signs na ganito, nahihirap ang umihi, or may mga blood na sa ihi nila, may kasamang dugo yung ihi, Nako po, wag na po kayong magturok ng antibiotics. Why? Sorry to say, but it would be better and practical to consider the animal for slaughter. And why not give antibiotics? Kung UTI ito, maaaring makukuha sa antibiotics. But this is UC. Okay? So kung UC yan, eh, hindi mo yan makukuha sa basta-bastang antibiotics lang. And how do we know that it's UC? Gumagawa po tayo ng urinalysis. So, napaka-importante po ang urinalysis. Kasi doon natin makikita, meron po kasing two types no, ng uh, crystals na nakikita nila kapag nag-urinalysis. O, oh, microscopy. No? Yung tinatawag natin na microscopic examination of the urine. Okay? So, tinitingnan doon kung may mga calcium oxalates ba doon. So, doon natin malalaman kung UTI ang problema or stones ba. Okay? From there, pwede rin naman silang i-x-ray or ultrasound kasi nakikita din po yan dun sa urinary bladder kung may mga formation doon ng stones. Okay? So, ayun nga, kung slaughter type naman po ang inyong uh, alaga, ay mas maganda na huwag na ninyong tuturukan pa ng kung ano-anong gamot unless sinabi ng inyong doktor. Bakit? Kasi kung slaughter type po siya, I'm sorry but you just have to isolate your animal and patabain mo na lang siya, hindi na kayo magbigay ng kung ano-ano, kasi kung kakatayin mo rin lang siya, you have to observe yung withdrawal period. I have mentioned this sa ating definition of terms, and I think sa discussion natin ng antibiotics. Ano yung withdrawal period? This is the period that you have to observe bago mo kainin no, yung hayop. So, kunyari, uh, nagturok ka, ng January 1 ng antibiotics, yung kailangan mong palipasin yung about 30 days, some 45 days no, na withdrawal period bago siya pwedeng safe na kainin. Okay? So, ang tagal nun, eh, paano kung ano, nagturok ka ngayon, tapos bukas na matay? Eh, di yung pag kinatay mo yon at kakainin mo, hindi lang po karne ng inyong alagang kinakain, pati yung antibiotics. So, dahil doon, nagkakaroon tayo ng drug resistance or antibiotic resistance. Kaya, uulitin ko, kapag nakitaan nyo na po ng signs na ganito at uh, na-confirm ng inyong veterinaryo na UC or urinary calculi ang problema, huwag na po tayong magmagaling na magbigay ng kung anong mga gamot. Steroids, antibiotics, NSAIDs, no? Because you have to observe the withdrawal period of these drugs before you can slaughter the animal. You can slaughter the animal, that's up to you. But what I'm saying is, it is not safe for human consumption. Kasi andun pa po yung residue ng gamot na binigay ninyo. Okay? Why not? Pwede kainin. Pwede naman. Yun nga lang, kumakain ka rin ng gamot. Okay? So, yun po yung UC. But there, for the breeders naman, I think you could discuss it with your veterinarian. Will you pursue surgery? Kung ano to, uh, breeder ito. No? Pwede bang maging option yung surgery? But sometimes kasi hindi na rin kasi it's impractical kasi alam naman natin na it won't last unless siguro kukolektahan mo siya ng semen no? so ayun, yun yung mga factors na kailangan ninyong i-consider if you will go with surgery or not. There is another way merong formula no, na ginagamit yung iba, this is off-label we are using ammonium chloride 
So what is ammonium chloride? Well, ammonium chloride is basically a fertilizer. But, wag po kayong magmamagaling, nagpagbibigay. Ah, sabi ni Doc, ano, ammonium chloride, fertilizer lang daw katapat niyan. Okay, uh, let's get straight with this. Yes, some are doing it, but it is off-label. And there is a correct formulation. How will you use it? Tinitimpla yan. At yung pagtimpla ng ammonium chloride na yon ay may mga measurement. Okay? At may mga factors. Depende yan sa timbang. Okay? At meron talaga tayong formula para doon. Hindi pwedeng basta magbibigay ka na lang ng fertilizer. Okay? At yun nga, off-label siya. Consult your veterinarian how are you going to deal with it if you go for using these remedies. Okay? So, yun po ang ating UC, okay, or urinary calculi. This happens when there is a calcium phosphorus ratio imbalance. Make sure you feed your goats with goat feeds. Make sure that you have plenty of clean, warm water sa inyong mga alaga. And also, kapag nandyan na siya, consider the animal for slaughter. And make sure na hindi na kayo nagbibigay ng kung ano-ano pang mga gamot. Because it won't be safe for human consumption if you did not observe the proper withdrawal period. Again, you can do surgery or give ammonium chloride with proper and correct formula from your vet. Ganun din, meron tamang administration kung paano nyo ibibigay yung remedy na yun. Okay? So, yun lang po ang ating maikling kwentuhan tungkol sa UC or kidney stones. Please consider this disease kapag nakita nyo na na nahihirapan umihi or yung ihi niya may mga dugo-dugo or dribbling, dribbling urine. Okay? So, that's UC. Sana po ay meron po kayong natutunan sa ating maikling kwentuhan. Hanggang sa muli, I hope to see you again soon. At sa mga hindi pa po nag Subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Please do like, subscribe, and share our lecture videos sa ating mga kafarmilya para naman po ma-share natin ang mga gaitong informasyon. Yun lamang po. Please keep safe everyone and God bless. Bye!